Hey guys, this is your girl. So now I'm back today about to take you step by step how to get rid of body odor. Hmm. Sometimes it's people worse than like me. How to get rid of body odor. It's so some people suffer from it, it's very chronic, and some people don't know the right materia to use or the right product to use. So I'm going to show you the old fashioned way. The African, the tradition, Liberian way, how to get rid of body odor. And I'm going to show you the American way. So it's two different ways I'm going to show you. Because some people will be kind of afraid how to get, how to use the old, the Liberian way to get rid of body odor. So, number one, step by step. So, I will show you a different, different product and then I'll go step by step. I have summer eve butter this is the american way i have the older spray i had a douche bottle and i have panty liners eyeliners and female whites that's the american way then I have the tradition, like being a way to get rid of body odor. I have baking soda, lime, and washcloth. Okay, so I will start with the Liberian way. How my grandma taught me. This is the lime. You want to rub it? Rub it, rub it, rub it. You want to rub it together. Make sure you rub it really, really good. Sometimes you can put it on the floor and use your feet to rub it around. Because you have to make it for it to be very, very smooth. Okay. So after it's smooth, you're going to take the knife and you're going to cut it into half. You're going to cut it into half. And you're going to use... You're going to, you're going to cut it into half. So it's going to be two. You're going to divide it into two. You're going to use one. You're going to take the other half. Take a little bit of baking soda. Sprinkle it on your hand. Take the other half. Because you're using two though. Remember, it's one lime divided into two. So you're going to take the half of the lime, the other half of the lime. Squeeze it. Put the baking soda in it. Dab it into the baking soda. Dab it, dab it, dab it. And then rub it underneath your arm. Rub it underneath your arm. Dab it again. The same line. Dab it again. Rub it underneath your arm. You're going to use that. You're going to... Don't wash it off. Leave it in there for like, leave it on the arm for like, for like a few seconds. You're going to take the same other line and then you're going to use it on your neck, behind your ears, and everything. Wherever it smells. Like your neck, your ears, on the arm. The same line. That same piece, you're going to use it. And then, while it's sitting, you're going to use the other half. You're going to get your washcloth. You're going to squeeze the fresh one because the other half you were saving it, right? So you're going to squeeze it on your washcloth. Get a little baking soda and cleanse it between your legs. You're going to go all in, cleanse it. Yes, it's going to burn a little bit, but what is this? Pain. You have to have pain to be kind of clean, right? It's going to burn a little bit. A little tingy burn, not a lot. So you're gonna burn. So you're gonna squeeze it, baking soda on the towel, lime juice, rub it in on your washcloth, and cleanse your inside part, in and out, all in your back part, the front, in and out, and let it sit there for like sit for like three, four seconds. Then you get in the shower and you wash it off. Um, the reason why you're using your washcloth and the lime juice and the baking soda, it will cut. Because when you insert it in you and you clean it really good, it's going to cut all the slimy, all the little older sin. It's going to cut it out. And you have to use this product. You have to use not every day. Probably twice a week or a month. You want to do that. Twice a week or a month. I do it every month. You know, when my menstrual cycle is over. But for you to get rid of the armpit, the arm odor, you can do it like every other week to get rid of that older scent people who sweat a lot this will cut down your sweat from doing it okay 
for my that's the Liberian way that's the African way to get rid of body odor okay for my American that y'all might think it burns so y'all don't want to do it we have summer eve product and this summer eve product make sure this says make sure they have hp balance make sure they have that it's very good because it balance all your body your and sometimes you know vagina is a very clean oven so it, it's a self-clean oven so you don't need to do too much to clean it. it's already clean you know it cleans by itself but sometimes as we mothers that give birth, we have lots of discharge. So if your mom, you know exactly what I'm talking about, guys. Lots of discharge after giving birth. And no matter how old our children are, the discharge still coming. So you want to use the Summer E product every day. Just a little bit of that. Put it in your, put it on your washcloth and wash, you know, in your private part. You want to cleanse that. Use that every day, just a little bit. Um... Some people, private part is very sensitive, so you always want to use the sensitive product. For me, I'm very sensitive, so I always use the sensitive product. So that's one thing you want to use. The Summer Eve, sometimes it, the Summer Eve product is like $3.99, sometimes. But this one is four $4.99. You can find it anywhere. And make sure this says HP Balance to work. So the balance out down there. Um, then we have the deodorant spray. The deodorant spray is very good because you can get your penny liners, your tongue liner, and you can spray it on it and then take it out, lay it on your tongues and wear it. So that kind of cut the odor too. That kind of, you know, cut down your odor while you walking day to day. You know, people don't have time. You know, you be sweating down there, and the longer you use this product, the older product, and you, it's good for females, especially the mothers. It's good for mothers to have um, panty liners. It's very good because, like I said, the discharge, right? So you want to have these lay out on your panties. You know, before you go out, you put one on your in your panties, and you spray it on it. You spray this on it, and you go. You be fresh. So when you even sweating, like you want to go to the gym, you working out, get your panties, put this on your panty, put it on your panties, spray the um the deodorant, spray on it, and you wear your panties. When you go work out, you no type of smell, not at all. So you want to always keep this. This is very good. This is a deodorant spray. This is really really good, and it's good too. Sometimes when you don't want to, you know, we girls. We don't want to wear panties to go to the club. You get this spray and you spray in the middle of your pants or you, whatever, your leggings. You know, during the summertime, we wear leggings a lot. You spray there and that will keep your odor disappear. So when you walk out, you're like, oh, she smells good, you know. And it lasts long too. Um, and you always want to have this in your hand, in your pocket. You always want to carry a wipe cleansing wipe is very good guys to have it on you this is like your the gold to go cleanse wipes you want to use it um because when you urinate you always want to peel it out wipe yourself after you finish wiping yourself get a tissue and dry yourself to keep your odor balance out you would not suffer from that and then after our menstrual cycle, I know the doctors say um, it's not good to douche. Yes, because the water in the douche bottle is not good. So this is what I do. I will share my secret with you. This is what I do. I empty the water out that come with it. I empty it and I use lukewarm water, a pinch of baking soda, a pinch of salt, and a little teaspoon of vinegar. Put it in. Screw it out, shake it out, insert it in you, squeeze it, but you have to be over the come over for you to do that. You insert it in you, squeeze it, and that water will come right back out. And you have to use this all the time when you um off your period. Probably, you know, when that special goddess coming over and you want to smell fresh and clean, 
You can do this too. You can douche yourself before you go down. So this is the product. Empty the water that come in here. Add lukewarm water, not hot water, lukewarm water. A pinch of soda, a pinch of salt, a teaspoonful of vinegar. Put it in, close it up tight, shake it up, sit on, an, sit on top the kamal, and insert it in you. Squeeze out. When you squeeze it in, when you squeeze it, it go up in you and it come right back down. And you will leave fresh. You can't even put your hands down and smell it. You will be fresh and clean. So, today tips, that is it. The African way and the American way. So, let me go over it again. This is the douche bottle. The spray. The baking soda. The lime, the summer eve wash, and make sure to say HP balance on there, guys. Make sure to say that. And we have the wipes. This is our to go to go. You know what I'm saying? And you can carry this thing with you too. Everywhere you want to go, you carry these two and these. Carry extra in your bag so you can be able to change to change it. So. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And this video is about how to get rid of body odors. Stay tuned.